Whenever you are looking at a Google document, whether it is a doc, a slide, or sheet, and you want to add it to your drive to make a copy, there's a simple way that you can do that. So for instance, the WCPS Powerful Practices document. If I have this open, and I go up to my menu bar where I have all my different options, and I go to File, when I click on File, you'll see that I can make a copy, or I can add to my drive. So here's the difference. If I make a copy, it will take what is here and essentially Xerox copy it, so I have an addition of it. I can make changes. I can make notes and highlights. It will not impact the regular document. If I simply add it to my drive, it is going to take this document and put it into the files in my drive. But if I have editing rights and I make an edit to it, then it would impact the document. Now, if I do not have editing rights on the original and I make a copy, within the copy I would have editing rights. So. I'm going to make a copy of this, and when I do, it is going to ask me which folder I would like it to go into. It's also going to have me give it a name, and it's going to ask me if I want to share it with the same people. Now, if it's a copy for me, I probably do not want to share it with all the same people. If I don't have a folder, I can just simply leave it as my drive, and I will click OK. A new window will open with that copy that you have made, and in your drive, when you open up your drive, you will see that your copy shows up as an individual file. From here, you can rename it to be what you would like it to be. You can move it to another folder that you may have, or you can simply leave it there. But any edit that I make on this now is not going to impact the first document that I had. So I'm going to show you. For instance, I'm going to put at the top where the title is, in addition to WCPS Powerful Practices, I'm going to add my name to the end of that and Google Drive is going to save my change but when I look at the original document it has not changed on there because this is my copy so if there's something in your essential curriculum that you want to make a copy of and manipulate or change that's the best way to do it and then you're controlling your own document and you're not going to impact what someone else sees